quadcopters are all the rage these days. All the cool kids are playing with them. But do you know what the smart kids are playing with? Quadratic equations. Remember the good old days of 9th grade when we learned algebraic expressions and polynomials? If you do, then these examples will look pretty familiar to you. This expression has a single term that is 4x squared. But this expression has two terms, x squared and 16, separated by a minus sign. The first term is a variable and the second one is a constant. Naturally, you must be expecting an expression with three terms next. Hold on, look at this expression first. This one also has two terms, where 3 is the coefficient of x squared, while 4 is the coefficient of x. And finally, the last expression has three terms, x squared, 7x and then 6. You can now identify the variables, coefficients and constants yourself. Now, what about the degree of a polynomial or expression? Among all the examples that we just saw, Check out what the highest power of the variables is in each expression. The highest power of the variable in an expression is called the degree of that expression. Here it is 2. Hence the degree of each of these is 2. Now if we equate these expressions to 0 or any other term you like, then these expressions become equations or in fancy words algebraic equations. The fact that these are second degree equations is why they are called quadratic equations. In general, a quadratic equation is an equation in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0. This is also called the standard form of the quadratic equation, where a is the coefficient of x squared, b is the coefficient of x and c is the constant while a, b and c can be any real numbers. But there is an exception for a. It can be any real number but not 0. Because if a is equal to 0, the equation is no longer a second degree equation. And we need a squared term for an equation to be quadratic. In the case of b equal to 0, the quadratic equation is called a pure quadratic equation. Whoa. You are on a roll here. You have covered these terminologies pretty quickly. How about a couple more? The first term is called the quadratic term due to the square. This second term is called the linear term, linear because the variable x has power 1. And the third term having no variable is called a constant term. We have learned so much in such a short time with these equations. But did you notice that how only one variable is involved within each quadratic equation? You will see why this is important when you look at the pattern that the variables follow in the standard form. The same variable that appears in the first term appears in the second one. Anyways, what's next after you see an equation, quadratic or otherwise? Your mathematical instinct should urge you to try to solve it. But instinct without training is futile. So the discussion of how to solve these equations is one for the next lesson, I promise. Till then, you may make your own quadratic equations in your notebook by keeping their important features in mind. See you.